Um, there's always a day zero because uh, if people in this country don't use water properly, we will run out of water. But we have been able to mitigate day zero in the city by augmenting water through planning that started many years ago. The Noitgedacht Low Pressure Water Scheme augments water that we get from the Harib Dam, which comes out of the Lesotho Highlands. That water can stabilize the water use in the city. The only problem that we will experience if it doesn't rain in the next few weeks and months is that the dams in this part of the world, in the catchment area that supply the, the, the southern and western part of our city, will dry up and we won't be able to get water there. But we're already making plans that we can take the water that comes from the east and pump it across the city into reservoirs and we're also build, drawing more water out of subterranean aquifers near reservoirs so we can augment that water. So we believe that day zero is not on the immediate horizon in Nelson Mandela Bay and that we have got a strong augmentation uh, process from the Noitgedacht water scheme but also we've got incredibly strong uh, aquifers and subterranean water in the Kucha area and we've got boreholes there that have been drilled that are producing more water than anywhere else in the country. So we've got strong underground water. The only thing we have to do there is to build a biological treatment plant because the water is sweet and clean and fresh but it is high in iron content and that can often have discoloration. So we've got to take that out through a biological treatment process and we believe that the plans that we have with subterranean water, augmentation from the Kharib Dam, and also managing these reserves in the dam behind us. This dam, for example, we've stopped using six months ago, and the dam level has risen since then, so we have this in emergency supply. So we have invited religious leaders to come and pray for God's intervention. God gives us water and air. Only He makes it. We can't make it. We rely totally on His grace. So having religious leaders and traditional leaders here this morning was critically important. And now we will pray all of us. Our trespasses as we forget those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen.